Yo my dudes, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. So what we do have planned for today is to fit the Velocity Stack that Concept Sport has sponsored us. What I do plan on doing is not fitting the Velocity Stack like my current cold day setup is running. Um, what I do plan on doing is fitting it through the light insert um, so that it gives a little bit of sound and I think it might just give a little bit of more kilowatts. Um, what I do also plan on attempting to do for you guys is maybe just creating a sound clip. The reason why I say attempt is because I'm currently having issues with the renewal of my license. So about a month ago, a few weeks ago, um, I made a status on Instagram showing how long the lines are to renew your license. A company then reached out to me and offered to sponsor um, the renewal of my license. However, um, during the process, they picked up that there was an outstanding fine on my name, which I've actually paid. Um, so they are currently trying to fix that. So the car is kind of not allowed to be on the road, but I might just um, show you guys a sound clip of that. And then also guys, um, I am offering a uh, discount code on Concept Sport Parts. So please stay tuned till the end of this video and I'll give you guys that code. Um, so let's get started. Okay guys, so this is my engine bay. A lot of you guys have actually asked me about what the engine bay looks like. Um, it is actually kind of dirty. However, this engine bay has never been cleaned from the first owner, which is 73 years old, as well as myself. I have actually never cleaned this engine bay. So like I've mentioned before, this is how I'm currently running my cold air induction. Um, however, we are going to install it in this light insert over here. So the reason for me actually fitting it through the light insert is uh, my future plans is actually to cut up this light and make the induction or the velocity stack to fit in this light just so that it gives it a little bit of a more clean look. However, I am going to have trouble with cutting um, the glass because it might just crack. So I might just use water and my Dremel to cut a perfect hole. Um, I'm probably going to break a few of this, but I do not want to have or do not want to lose uh, the look of the car. Um, but for today, we are going to run um, the velocity stack without using the headlight. I'm going to attempt to um, figure out a way that my indicator can still stay in, but this headlight has to go. So this is my current setup. This is an HKS um, mushroom filter. However, I do not have the filter. What actually happened here was while servicing the car, I wash, usually wash that green sponge out. However, when it was drying, I picked up that the dog destroyed it. So I basically ran it just so, which is kind of like a velocity stack anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to remove this and then read it reroute this outside the headlight unit. So I managed to remove the cold air induction. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit over here. What I'm also going to do is just put the induction just to mock up as to um, how long I'm going to need the other piece to be. 
And then once I do get that other piece, we'll just spray it black as well. So it matches the rest of the induction. Okay, my dudes. Uh, so what I did right now is just do a little bit of a mock-up, which is what the induction is going to look like. Um, then I just need to go to AHK to get the piping that runs a bit further so that it can obviously sit outside where the headlight used to be. Also guys, if you are wondering um, why there is black tape around here, there's no specific reason. Um, I just feel like the black silicone um, hoses look a little bit better. So if you guys do know black silicone hoses, uh, please let me know because I can't seem to find. That is why I just put the black tape over here so that it kind of matches uh, the black induction. Um, so I'm just going to AHK quickly to get um, the extended pipe and then we can continue with the setup. A few moments later. Okay guys, so I just left um, AHK. Just made a turn by friend Kieran quickly. Uh, I just need to go, needed to go fetch something by Kieran. Um, he also just showed me his new bike that he got. Um, it's a Honda 1000 CBR. Um, I'll just add a short little video over here and then we can get started with uh, fitting the induction. Hey guys, I just got home. Um, this is what the induction is going to look like. Um, this is just basically a mock-up, nothing is really tight. Um, then also, I just got some matte black um, insulation tape and some grey primer to spray this. The reason why I went with a matte um, black tape is because, as you guys can see here, the tape doesn't match the rest of it. So. The matte black actually goes with the matte black spray as well. Okay guys, and what I'm also going to attempt to do is maybe um, try to make the indicator fit um, in this exact position. Um, it would be ideal for you to use this, but if you own an EG, you will know that these are notorious for actually breaking. So I'm just going to have to find another way to actually make it fit. guys so this is what the um, insect guard looks like um, I actually ran out of paint and this is actually what the induction looks like um, what I did was um, I first used some engine um, enamel uh, I assume this is for heated so I just put a first coat of this and I'm actually low on black so that is also why I use this first and then I do have some matte spray to just to finish it off uh, so I'm just going to see what I can do while this dries in the meanwhile and then we can give it its last coat with a matte black.
guys so this is what it looks like this far um, still waiting for the paint to dry on the induction um, this light doesn't line up as good because obviously it's only made tight over there however um, it's look pretty, looking pretty good so I'm just gonna grab a bite while I wait for um, the induction to dry it does seem like it's not really a matte finish um, but be in mind that the bonnet is going to be closed anyway so yeah uh, I'm just gonna grab a bite quickly and then I'm gonna fit the induction yo my dudes so I just want to take a break from this video to discuss one of our sponsors the sponsor I do want to discuss today is Shamil also known to you guys as Greasy Monkey what Shamil has done for me is he has assisted me with my logos as you guys know uh, my channel is called Wong Street to Track um, and Shamil has assisted me with that logo Shamil has also assisted me with creating a name for um, what I'm going to call my workspace or my garage which now is street to track garage and then going forward um, when I do eventually create some merch or some parts for you guys I am going to call it Wong Spec which is also the recent logo that Chamel has created so if you guys are looking for a logo for your business or something that you have created please make contact with Shamil he can assist you with logos what Shamil is also capable of doing is photography so Shamil can also take some shoots of your car yourself or even some wedding photos as well I'll just put some more information in the description below as to what Shamil is all able to do for you as well as his information so I just want to thank Shamil a lot for assisting me with creating my logos so let's get back to the video Okay guys, so this is what the concept sport uh, velocity stack looks like once it's installed. Something I would recommend you guys doing is just taking off the terminal. Someone mentioned it years ago uh, when fitting induction. Um, I think it's just to reset the computer so that the computer can pick up that there was changes done uh, to the car. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, just another thing I maybe added um, is just some tape over here over the straps and then I also just put some double sided tape at the bottom here in case it knocks against here however here is a tie strap to keep everything um, sturdy and also something I want to mention um, I will be the official concept sport parts installer so if you guys do buy something like this or a diffuser I am able to install it for you for additional cost um, so yeah um, what I am going to do now is maybe just go to my friend Kieran and maybe just try to get the sound clip for you guys so we can actually hear what it sounds like now you can you help us record it from your phone why why you drive them that cry on the way what cry on the way we want to bring you to the log the log not to stow loose is it how do you know I 
dit uit dat er rouw dit aan kan zit dit uit dat dat So Kirin is just going to take the car for a drive quickly, just hear what it sounds like. Then he's bike is also idling over here. I think he's just gonna come around from this side. Turn the lights on. Oh, is the lights on? Uh, I want to see because like the one light is out. It actually looks insane like it. Hey guys if you're watching this just like to thank you for making it to the end of my video and if you did enjoy what we've done to the eg please do give this video a thumbs up and then i also just want to give you guys uh, the discount code bear in mind that the discount code does come from my end um, so i was able to get you guys a 10 rand off all parts however i can't get any discount off uh, the t-shirts or the hoodies or the stickers um, so yeah i got you guys a 10 rand off however Bear in mind, if you guys want that 10 rand off, you just need to make contact with me or with Tariq. You just need to give him the code, which will be Wong Street to Track 10. Um, also, you guys need to give him proof just to show that you are subscribed to the channel. So I know that 10 rand is a small amount, but if you consider it, guys, you basically just need to press one button to subscribe to the channel and then just give him the Wong Street to Track 10. Um, discount code and you'll basically get 10 rand off so yeah guys i hope that does help you with your purchases in future and i hope you guys did like this video see you guys in the next one peace